hey, it's winter time. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine about layering. She's due to travel into um, some nice frigid temperatures. I got a friend in Alberta and they got like single digits. I don't play that. So, you got usual bra. This is my family dollar camisole. Got a touch of polyester and spandex in there. What? It holds heat. I don't wear the cotton ones right now. Got to wear something that's going. Mm, mm. Okay, you got the drawers layer. Now, some will still have on tights and stockings under there. My lower body don't play that. They got good heat down there. So, you just got these. <laughs> what brand is this? Russell. Yep, I wear what coaches wear. Then, we got my good, good friend. This is my good, 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 good friend. Worn this at a lot of parades and outdoor events when the weather's crazy. Polar Tech. Yep. Now, because I don't like a lot of things packed up around my belly button, I'm not going to put this one inside. See, it's long anyway. Probably need a female cut. But we'll leave that right there. That way, it gets a little air. Now, for the heck of it, uh, oof, no, I don't want another long sleeve right now. I, okay, depending on where you are, let me go with this one. Long sleeve tees are your friend. Just like these long sleeve liner things, long sleeve tees are your friend. You want things to be a little baggy. You want air to be able to float through. And the key thing about layers is temperature changes. You got to be able to peel them off, still be adequately dressed. So, bam. So here we go. One, two, that one down there, plus a good cast iron bra. <laughs> and then, uh, this was the bomb yesterday at the parade. Yes, I'm a car ambassador. Um, they always have good swag, got good weight to it. Bam. Uh, and voila. <laughs> now, some won't do the hoodie thing, so get that up out of there. And go for one of my favorite winter brands from when I even lived in Connecticut. Because Connecticut cold different from New York cold. You learn that real quick. This little bugger. This. Right. Now see, here's the thing where I might not would wear this one with this one. I'll tell you why. You see, once you start feel chocker chocker uh, uncomfortable, you're going to be cold. It's got to flow well. That's why I wasn't going with double long sleeves. Some can take it, some can't. Um, I'm out there shooting stuff, so no. I can't take the extra measure. But we'll take care of the chest with a T-shirt. Okay. Which gives me less bulk in the arms and under the armpits, which is why you see a lot of jackets may have breathing holes in the armpits. I don't know what, I think I packed Mama Joan. I can't get to Mama Joan right now. Mama Joan has a good liner that's mostly for rain, but it's still a good brand in these weathers. See, that one layer of Polar Tech, Long, it's much better than it in a long t-shirt. So, everybody different. I packed. <laughs> <laughs> or, because I know this is going to be really hot, and I want to go in the supermarket, so I'm moving around a lot. And my basic layers are covered. Um, if the temp hits about 50 which I don't know if it will, because right now we're still in the 30s, then we'll go with this one. It's the basic $9.99 Hanes jacket, but uh, it's a woman's cut. 
that I can get still to keep. As opposed to my other one, which is, see, boom. So, layer it up. Layer it up. Layer it up. I'll get this one. <laughs> um, footwear is very, very, very important, especially if you go with the places that have it. Um, you want to wear shoes that's over your ankles. You want to wear waterproof boots. There's a difference between weatherproof and waterproof. Weatherproof says, okay, it's supposed to keep you warm. Now, the thing is, those who know, continued exposure to walking in wet substances, snow, a.k.a. sleet, a.k.a. the water runoff, which is damn cold, you need waterproof. Trust me, even when they got their Tims, if they're in their Tims and they're out there too long, that sucker will get soaked through if you have not treated them. So, how are you preparing for the winter? Oh, yeah, I didn't do a hat. <laughs> I didn't do a scarf. But some of the main things are keep the body hydrated in terms of drinking water. Keep the skin hydrated and moisturized. Get out the good, good stuff with all the emollients in there and the stuff. You can't do, you cannot do baby oil in this session. I, at this time of winter, first layer is olive oil. Second layer is a combination shea butter and coconut oil. And then where my baby at? Uh, for my face. Go by the healing and my feet, your feet, oh, your feet, your feet. You can't have things too tight on your feet. It's not good. If air doesn't get to circulate, you will not feel warmth. What you will feel is more cold and be stressed. So prepare for the winter. It's here. Toodles. And um, no, I ain't got no heavy coats. Well, it's probably something tucked away, but nothing that I've had to bring out for years, so it's not going to happen. That's why layer, 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 layer. Because sometimes when you just peel one, it ain't going to give you the good, good. Because even if you have on a leather jacket or a shirling or whatever, you need some layers. Yes, your basic foundation before you walk out your house, before you put on the coat. The coat is just the extra. You need to be. Happy winter. Yes, I still have a pair. Why? Because they were waterproof. Yeah, baby. Yeah, socks over the ankle. You want to protect your ankles. I can't do gloves. I can't do full gloves. But when things kick in, and like last night when the temperature was dropping, I had to pull out these trusty babies. Um, you can also find them as what sewing gloves. Um, I've got fine motor skill issues. I cannot have everything. If I have it all encased, it'll feel as if it's totally freezing. I'll be in pain. So, y'all who can do gloves, enjoy them. Otherwise, I just keep them tucked. And I might have to put on one of these. And that at least gives me some radiating heat and support. Uh, sometimes it's all about a chort work. You show your up your chort. But I look a scully on. And it's done hot. You have a whole song eat. And then you go 